Hey guys, Lastcast here, and today guys, I'm going to bring you part 2 of the Walking Dead Let's Play I did on my live stream. So this is going to be part 2 of the VOD. If you missed part 1, check in the description below for the video response. And if you want to receive info and updates from me, go and like my Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Lastcast. Link is in the description below. Hope you will enjoy. So green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Well, you had it before the car accident. Home. Where's home? I grew up and make it. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's oh. It. House is full up in mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't get your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. <laughs> Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. Yep. Get I already point. said, okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. It being a barn and all. I miss my mom and dad. It's okay, we'll find them, maybe. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Ah, who's that? Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not a dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. They call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. Well, family's from there. Well, making sounds like bacon. I'm liking the sound personally, of I'd appreciate Tallacy. the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. 
Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Anyone from the U.S. Some an eye eye it's a or city call making. I have no visit. idea. Probably Google it later. Okay. Let's check back to the... I haven't heard much about it. I mean, you I know that... such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. I know the PTR um, is meant to be going live soon, so... That might be a step in the right direction. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance oh, things got too bad, we could so sure hop on my boat, I guess. Oh, yeah, You've boat. got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Oh, good. That's useful to know. Right, who else can I'm able to speak to? I'm going to be building a fence or something. And there's his son I'm guessing over on the track too. So yeah, let's go over here and have a little chat. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, Dan. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes and pull the trigger. You don't see things like that. Nope. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to offer one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Go, Thanks, Sean. Phone. Thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when I you think see this my guy dad, likes me. He wants some help in the barn. Yeah, I shot one. Okay. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Ooh. 
I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. How farms work, really? matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No family. I had a beta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed him. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Uh-oh. A spider sense is tingling. Go. I'll get my gun! Holy crap. Wait, what? Oh, I've got... Oh, sh shit. Oh, we have no time to save both of them. Stitch you up. It, it almost, it almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. I know, sir. I. Uh... Oh. Yeah. to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. He had his own son to You don't need to say anything. You tried. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Oh, I liked him. Why do you have to die? Got that ride to make it if you want it.
and they're not going to be happy with me. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Oh, okay, yeah, so I used to work in the drugstore, I'm guessing? Or my parents owned it or something like that. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Nope. Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! Hey, this place is crawling. Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I. I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Stop. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Oh, no. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Did he actually get bitten? It didn't look like he got bitten. What do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. At the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for she killing the kid. Yeah, I'm convinced she's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <laughs> 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 
Oh, I hate this! Oh, shit! Okay, I think I get how this works. You just keep smacking Q until it goes to the center. You okay? Just great, thanks. Who's having a heart attack? Or not? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the oh, counter, it's where the pills are. Isn't it? There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel, not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right, well, let's find some pills then. I'm damaged. And this place didn't get looted. Energy bar. Nom nom nom. Probably gonna be useful. Another energy bar. Am I the only person who's like seen the energy bars, I'm guessing? Okay, that's bathroom. Somebody came out of there, so let's not go that way. Okay, where exactly are we going? I take a photograph because I'm guessing that's my family. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, huh? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead gods. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did that in. Um First series of Living Dead. They covered we themselves in zombie need guts. To get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. The hell am I going?
Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Getting out here is going to be dangerous. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's rather terrible. And one gets you. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. We talk to the zombies. That'd be cool. It's a combination lock. Hmm. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Um, they've even got a sail on. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And one on the old couple we took out of the office. That's parents. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. Right. Julian up here. I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so... You probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Let's head back inside. Okay. Yep, no point in being out there, really. <laughs> <laughs> 